can't see anything. Uh, I can't film anything. Will someone switch on the lights? I've got it. Bean, there you are. How did you get inside? Uh, what? Yuck, there are cobwebs in my hair. It's very dusty in here. I wonder when it was last given a good clean. I think we know what our first job is, Stacy. Oh, this is a very important call. I better take it. I guess I'll be cleaning on my own then. Great job, Piper! Are you always going to be filming me now? Pretty much. Don't worry, you'll be surprised how quickly you forget the camera's there. That's what I'm worried about. But it's the pets you're really interested in, right? That's the idea. Uh, that was a little non-committal. What are you gonna do next? Tear out this carpet. It's very shabby. Hey, Dana, are you going to help or just stand there filming me? Ah, just stand here filming you, of course. Ah, nice work! Wow, I don't think I have ever seen someone resist those puppy dog eyes before. They're perfectly nice eyes, but as I said, I'm just not a pet person. You know what, Dana? I bet that by the time we're finished with this show, you will be. I'll take that bet. I better clean this stain off the wall. It looks awful. Spotless. Uh, you know, this would be a great place to put the background wall for interviews. What was that? I'm not sure. You hear stories about abandoned houses like this and the weird stuff that happens in them. What if some crazed lunatic has been living here and we've upset them by moving in? Ah! <laughs> Dana, calm down. It's the water pipes. They're just waking up after being so long out of use. Ah, oh, good. Then we can set up the background wall. Sure, but this time you've got to help. Isn't it fabulous? It's very Stacy. That's for sure. Everything's coming together. I'm so excited. Dana, why do you love filmmaking? I like watching people. Right. <gasps> uh, not in a creepy way. I just find people interesting. I'm not weird, I promise. I believe you. I think. Let's set up your interview equipment. Anything to end this conversation? Why will you need to do interviews? It's not like the pets are going to be very talkative. Because occasionally I have to interview the owners to get background information about the pets. I need to test out my equipment, so why don't we do a practice interview right now and I can show you. If it's only a practice, then why not? So, Piper, how long have you been working for Neighborhood Pet Centers? 
Oh, must be going on about two and a half months now. And how would you describe your employer, Miss Della Vanderboat? Della's kind of hard to put into words. She's unique,、uh, that's for sure. She's kind of like my fairy godmother. She arrived in my life and completely turned it around. She's given me an incredible opportunity, whisking me around the world to set up pet cafes. I'm grateful, but sometimes I don't want to be whisked. Sometimes I want to make my own life choices, and Della can't always understand that. I guess she can be a little inconsiderate. Wow, <laughs> I've got to admit, it felt really good to get that off my chest. Thanks for my practice interview, Dana. My pleasure. Are you guys slacking off already? We need to elevate this lounge space. Um, I think a new carpet should do the trick. It's perfect. It really pulls the room together. So while you guys were slacking off, I was organizing the arrival of our new guests. How dare you! I have never slacked off in my entire life. Ah,、uh, simmer down. It was a joke. Anyway, you interrupted me. I was about to tell you that our first VIP guests are on their way. Who are they? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, that's why I asked. Come on, Stacy, spill the beans. Who are these VIP guests? I can't tell you. Why? It's a surprise. Then why did you even mention it? To create excitement, to build suspense.、Uh, well, I, for one, am very excited. Oh, we need to get everything ready. Let's remove the dust cloth from this sofa and find out what's hiding underneath. Great work! Now we can put in the new sofa. The new sofa? And what's wrong with this one? Ugh, it's ancient. Aren't we being a little wasteful? Piper, this is a pet palace, not some anonymous cafe in a backwater town. Everything has to look perfect. Why did that feel like a dig? I don't know. Maybe I touched a nerve. All I'm saying is, we have to think big. I have a vision for this place, and I will accept nothing less than the best. But the sofa's going, Piper. Deal with it. Gorgeous and way prettier than the gross old thing that was here before. It's really nice. I'm just not sure it was necessary. See what a difference it makes when you refuse to accept second best. It will change your life, Piper. I'm very happy with my life as it is. Thanks.、Uh, denial is a powerful thing. Shots fired. Are you gonna take that, Piper? I am not going to rise to it. I am not going to rise to it. I can't wait to call Nina later. She always knows the right thing to say to calm me down. Oh, let's put in a new accent chair.
fabulous. I love it. You've really inspired me, Piper. I have. You've given me the idea for a book. A self-help book to teach sad, lost women how to make better life choices. There's clearly a market for it. I could call it Nothing But The Best by Stacy Hollywood. It's got a nice ring to it. You know what, Stacy? Best doesn't always mean expensive or new. Sometimes best means upcycled or even old. And believe it or not, I'm not sad and I'm not lost. I like my little life in Stony Point. And I don't need you to teach me how to live. So you can take your... Are you still filming? Yeah, I'm always filming. Then never mind. Anyway, let's remove this tablecloth, shall we? Job. Wow, this table's beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Will you help me get rid of it? Get rid of it? Stacy, this table fits with the rest of your design. If you replace it, you'll only end up buying something identical. Throwing the table away would just be... Wasteful? Yeah. Maybe you have a point. For once... <laughs> okay, the table stays. Sacrifice. Compromise. Guys, I'm moved. Was that a car horn? Sounds like our guests have arrived. Let's go outside and greet them. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Let me introduce you to the first guest at Stacy Hollywood's Pet Palace, Leonora, Sunshine, and Skipper. Meet Leonora, a Bengal cat and the queen of her domain. But don't be fooled by her fluffball appearance, because this little kitty has claws. And here comes Sunshine, everyone's Prince Charming. He's a handsome little guy with a big heart. And finally, Skipper the Papillon. This naughty little tyke loves nothing more than getting up to mischief. She's a funny little creature and our resident court jester. They're adorable. <laughs> Being like Skipper! You think? Leonora, Sunshine, Skipper? Hi, Leonora. Guess she takes a little time to warm up. I didn't call you. Don't say hello to me. Skipper! Skipper! Uh, why isn't she coming over? You're probably doing it wrong. Let me try. Skipper. 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 Bean. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Let's get these guys inside and show them their new pad. This is where we'll dress up the pets, and this is where we'll do a fashion show. But where's all their stuff? Stuff? Like what? Like their toys and their beds? There's nothing here to make the pets feel comfortable. You haven't forgotten this is meant to be a pet palace, have you? Oh, I guess I was so focused on designing the palace, I kind of forgot about the pets. Um, let me make a couple of calls. Wow, you managed to sort that out quickly. I have a lot of contacts. Now let's install the pet bed.
That looks comfy. I wish it was my bed. Sorry, Dana. It's Leonora's now. Wow, Skipper sure does bark a lot. Hmm. Skipper. Hmm, Stacy, do you have Skipper's paperwork? Sure, why? There's something I want to check. Just what I thought. What? Skipper's deaf. Well, there was so much to take in at the breed rescue place. Uh, I must have missed it when they told me. Oh no! Are we going to have to send Skipper back? I just did such a cool intro for her in the driveway. Of course we don't have to send her back. I've worked with deaf dogs before. Lots of them end up in shelters because people don't know how to look after them. But they're just like any other dog. They love walks and treats <laughs> and scritches. It won't be a problem at all, will it, Skipper? We'll just have to use doggy sign language. Wow, that's so cool! Oh, teach me that, Piper! Sure! What's up, Bean? Oh, you must be bored. We need to put out the toys. That looks great, Piper. The toys will keep the pets entertained for hours. Except for Sunshine. He's much more interested in Dana. Uh, why is he always next to me? Because he likes you. It's giving me the creeps. But he's so sweet. You're going to have to get used to pets if you want to make this show. Well, we'll see about that. What's next on the list? We've got to build a check-in desk for all our elite guests. very elegant. It gives off exactly the right first impression for clients when they walk through the door. So, this pet contest, how will it work? Great question, Piper. We'll start by giving the pets extreme glow-ups because right now they look very scruffy. We'll get to know them, dress them up in super cute outfits, and then the public will vote for their favorite. Whichever pet receives the most votes will be crowned the prince or princess of the palace. But what happens to the pets afterwards? I knew you'd ask that. Viewers can apply to adopt them. Hmm, I can see how the contest might be good for the brand. But I'm worried it's not going to be fun for the pets. I need to think about this. Okay, but before you do that, will you help me set up the display case? That looks amazing. Okay. I'm going to take five. Piper, what are you doing? Playing solitaire. It helps me think. 
Usually I play with real cards, but when I don't have them, I use my phone. I'm just not sure if I want to be involved in this pet contest. What if the pets don't enjoy it? But if I go, it's not like Stacy will stop the contest. It will go ahead with or without me. At least if I'm here, I can make sure the pets are having a good time. And I'd love to help find Skipper a family that will truly appreciate her. Okay, I'm in. Great! Wanna help me set up this floor lamp? <laughs> I sure do. That will brighten up the room. Sunshine. Apparently, people call pugs shadows because they follow their owners around. But I'm not Sunshine's owner. <laughs> Tell that to him. Oh, it's a text from Nina. I can't wait to tell her everything that's been going on with Stacy and Dana at the Pet Palace. I really need to vent. I wonder how she's been getting on. <laughs> SOS. Oh, oh my goodness. It sounds like things aren't going well at all. I'd better call her. Three more puppuccinos coming right up. Nina, are you okay? What's the matter? Fran! Fran is the matter! Oh no, uh, what's going on? The customers love her. We're making more money than ever. She's created dog lattes and puppuccinos, and everyone's going crazy for them! So, what's the problem? The problem is, they prefer them to Papa's hazelnut latte. Oh, Nina, I'm sorry. She's completely taken over. I might as well not even be here. Big changes like this can take some getting used to, uh, but it will get easier, Nina, I promise. Just hang in there, okay? I'll try. Nina sounded really upset. I hope she doesn't do anything rash. She can be a little impulsive sometimes. But I'm sure she'll adjust soon. I mean, she'll have to if Fran is this good for business. Oh, uh, it's Nina again. Oh, this is not good.